Have you ever been stumped by a three-piece puzzle? Well, today we've got a three-piece packing puzzle from Pelican that's gonna blow your mind. You gotta see the frame or the box that these pieces pack into. It looks super cool. Welcome to episode 87 of Puzzle Time. This is my sister Linnea, I'm Tyler. We are gonna be showing you a whole bunch of puzzles today. We don't actually have a draw. Uh, usually we have a draw, so no draw this time. Let's just uh, jump into the puzzles. Linnea, what do you wanna start with? Uh, start off with this one, it's most that one? interesting. Okay, we've got two Alexander Maggie Eriks puzzles today from Pelican, one of our favorite wooden puzzle makers. This is called, what's this one called Linnea? This is called Mouse Hole. Mouse Hole. Now, Alexander, I've I've really enjoyed his puzzles as of late. Uh, the stuff he makes, and it's mostly with Pelican, but are just amazing. Amazing, amazing puzzles. Keep up the good work, Alexander. And this one um, is very much in the theme of what he has done previously. He likes to do these puzzles that are packing puzzles with that kind of, some sort of movement on the top that allows you to like, opens or restricts areas of the, the packing puzzle. Now, you. This one's called mouse hole because of the hole right here. It's supposed to be that the pieces have to slide through there. It can slide all the way across. So when you flip it upside down, it could be depending where the hole is, you have to move it around to take the pieces out. Right. Okay, so how many pieces are inside there? You want, you want to take yours apart? There is three pieces. I had this before. Can, no, I can't. Can get you it. get them apart? I so did the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes these are harder to take apart than they are to put back together, so. No, that I'm one not has sure. to come out first. This one has to. I just, I, you know, I mostly just appreciate that this doesn't come in the solved state. I, I hate when these puzzles come and they're like already solved. So, okay, there's number two. Can you get the third one out now? Let's just see these pieces here. So you can see there's piece number one, piece number two. Now these are. So they kind of step out like that. A similar. Cat picnic basket one. Yeah, yeah, they are like that. So it's just three pieces? Yeah. Okay, and they're not, they're actually all a little bit different, which is interesting. Not even, so these actually are, what is this? This is probably the same, it's not even, it's bigger, look at that. It looked like the same piece, but it's actually one piece wider. Interesting, yeah. So they're all slightly different, but they all look very similar. They kind of have that Z or S shape. Okay, go ahead. You try solve it. See if you can get it. I'll, I'll talk a bit more. There's 17 moves, so I don't know. I'll be able 17 to it, moves <laughs> on this one. Okay, so three pieces. Pack them in there. It's made out of cherry wood. Uh, garapa, garapa. Have you ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. I'm gonna guess that that's the yellowy stuff, maybe. Mm. And then there's purple hearts and American walnut. So walnut's probably the the wood on the side here. That garappa has got to be this yellowy stuff. I don't know. What, is there any kind of fun moves you can figure out with that top piece? Like, so obviously the box has a little, like these restricting pieces on the corners here too. So it'll restrict you coming in and out. And then this will allow you, essentially, I think this sliding piece is gonna figure out which side you're coming in on, right? Because, no yeah. Interesting. Huh. Because they have to step in. I don't know if you can twist them in there. Yeah, I don't. I, you're talking about is there rotation? I don't think there is. I doubt. Three, so, three by three. Usually with packing puzzles like this, they'll specify or burr puzzles. I guess these are called burr puzzles and specifically packing ones here. But anything like this, when there's rotation, usually they'll specify it in it. Mm -hmm. And if there's not, usually rotation would be like a kind of a cheating move on this. And I'm not going to say always, but there is puzzles that we have released at Puzzle Master that there was like a, if you spun some of the pieces, you could cheat and like- This does twist do it a faster inside there. Yeah. So I'm not sure, maybe there is rotation, maybe not. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, um, but yeah. 
really smooth movement too on this, hey? Like it's not like rough at all. I mean, Pelican's construction is top notch. Like you're not gonna, you're literally not gonna find better puzzles, more well-made puzzles than what, what Pelican has here. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. cool. I like it. That's the uh, mouse hole. So let's move on to the next one, Linnea. You can leave yours apart, yeah. And people can take a look at the pieces. Next, what is this one called? This one's called L6. L6. Okay, you talk about this one, I'm just gonna take it apart and play with it. So this one has six different L-shaped pieces as such here. Um, it's also by Alexander McGarrix. McGarrix, yeah. McGarrix. It's a level seven puzzle. And so... It's what only you... level seven, hey? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. What's crazy about this one too is it's a level seven, but it has more moves than the level eight. Really? How it's many moves? Nineteen. Moves. Nineteen moves to get these in. Boy, it. Oh, it is hard maneuvering these even Maybe in there. It's just because you don't have something restricting the top as much as this has to slide. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, move numbers aren't always the be-all end-all when it comes to figuring out the uh, the difficulty, right? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it can just be really tricky. Can this? Yeah, there we go. So I got one laying down. So I'm gonna put that. Boy. So then if I want it to go, look at that. You can't even put it, that one square in the bottom is restricting you from going straight in. Yeah. Like that. Huh. Yeah, this would be a fun. I would enjoy playing with this puzzle. I like that. What's this one made out of? Did you say uh, that already? I don't think you did. No, I didn't. This one is made out of maple. Maple? Bo it can't both be. This, I think this would be your maple. What would this be? I'm not sure. The box is got to be something it up, else. It, had to, it just said maple. I'm not sure if there okay. probably is something else or it could be stained maple. Yeah. But. Yeah. Well, you even feel the inside of the box. You can think like, hey, they could leave the inside of the box not finished. It's all finished, I mean, even on the inside of the box. Huh. Cool. That is L6 from Pelican and uh, designer Alexander Magierix. Really good puzzles. Both of these today are Alexander. Um, so yeah, definitely go to puzzlemaster.ca, check them out. And if you like these, uh, there's some great stuff from Pelican. We have a whole huge catalog of them. Again, if you like Pelican, go to Puzzle Guy on YouTube and his channel, and he is the Pelican expert. He will get Pelican puzzles long before we get them here at Puzzle Master. And so uh, if you wanna see what's coming out new with them, check out Puzzle Guy. But uh, yeah. Well, he works directly for them too, right? Okay. Yeah, he does, he, he takes pictures for them. So he actually is technically uh, either a contractor or an employee of Pelican and uh, does their pictures. So he's also a photographer by night, so, mm. or by day. By day, probably. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, that's Pelican Alexander Magierix. Now to online buzz. The online buzz. Now, Linnea, you are going to take the online buzz today. Yeah. So we have a couple interesting ones that I really like that we may possibly get here at Puzzle Master this puzzle, but I'm not 100 percent sure. We've been contacting the guy and seeing if he will allow us to carry them. Uh, the puzzle is called Davit Invasion Puzzle. Mm. So, crazy word, it's not really the Davit. I don't know if you've heard of it, it's an optical illusion. So, uh, it's uh, that one where it can, the picture either the way you shift it, it looks like a duck, or if you turn the picture the other way, it could look like a rabbit. And so, right. the pieces in the puzzle are um, shifted after that optical illusion, so they look like that dab it as they call it right we'll throw that on screen here have a little yeah. picture of the dab it <laughs> <laughs> and so what you have to do with this one is you have to find and jail all 10 of the dabbits plus their two eggs and hmm. two hidden eggs in the puzzle where do you find this uh, i found it on a group called puzzle friends on facebook oh yeah we talk about puzzle friends a lot yeah. on here they're a great place to go and find anything puzzle related there's some of the like premier puzzle experts in the like puzzle world so puzzle friends on facebook check out that group if you want to find more information about the dab and invasion um the blog five snatchas does a review uh, on it and that's where you find all the information and in the puzzle yeah. did a good review on it 
Yeah, we've talked about Five Sinatras in, uh, in our online buzz before. They're, they're great. Uh, definitely go check out Five Sinatras. The puzzle, I didn't know the company it was by though. It's a guy, he just, I think this is his first puzzle. Oh, really? He did, or second puzzle. He did another one called um, Pair of Dice or something like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's there's a lot of new puzzle puzzle people coming in. I, I think, honestly, the YouTube YouTubers up there, Chris Ramsey's, Mr. Puzzles, mm -hmm. Puzzle Guys, have really opened the world up to like, to this this hobby and I, I feel like there's just a ton of new people coming into this so dabbit invasion definitely is one of those uh mm. those coming in so what else you got um the next one is on tiktok we know we don't talk a lot about tiktok accounts on here but it is growing big right now so and now hold on, hold on you shoot tiktoks for tiktok videos for puzzle master yes so if you're on tiktok chances are you've seen Linnea's uh videos and she we're getting a lot of traction with them so Definitely go to the Puzzle Master TikTok and check it out. But who do you got today for us? Today we have a lady or man, I don't know, the name sounds like a girl name, but the guy, it looks kind of like a guy who's doing the... It's hard to tell. <laughs> you don't see faces, so whatever. It's called Perfect Jenny 118. Perfect underscore Jenny underscore 118, Jenny. right? Yeah. So what they do is they do packing puzzles mostly. Um, the reason why I picked theirs is some of their videos have 6.8 million views. Lots like, of views. That's crazy to know that that many people are watching. Yeah. <laughs> what were videos? What were some of your favorites? Like we watched some together, um, right? I personally like the one. It was a cheese puzzle. I think it is. Or it's yeah. where you have to fit the little circle within the four square pieces into the square frame. Yeah. And they obviously don't fit the direct way where the sides will always be against the side. It's kind of different than they, them. They, Jenny had done some of the uh, uh, Uesaka stuff, right? Yeah, they, uh, they did Wave 5 puzzle. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, go to TikTok, check out Jenny underscore 118. No, perfect yeah. underscore Jenny 118. Sorry. Yeah. Perfect underscore Jenny 118 and uh, great videos. There's lots of new TikTokers coming up that are yeah. doing puzzles. So, yeah. And last but not least, what do you got? Uh, the last one we have today for you is Optimal Review. Now, they do amazing photography and reviews of different puzzles and also some other items as well. Um, I like their Instagram account. I just love the way they use the light in the pictures and they shine it off the puzzle or they'll put it behind the puzzle to make the puzzle right. look interesting and different. Yeah. Optimal review is great. One of my favorites. I, I talk about him all the time. And you said he's on YouTube and Instagram, hey? Yeah, YouTube. He does hmm. solution videos. I think he has about 10 to 20 videos somewhere in that range. And then Instagram, same thing. He does a picture of each of his solutions mm. he does. He's a great photographer. Yeah. So it, uh, it's some good stuff. And uh, we've sent him a lot of our puzzles to review. Yeah, he, he's good. He's good. It's yeah. uh, it's really good videos. I, I love his stuff. So I, I think the last one he did was Ice Ice Nine, yeah. Ice Puzzle Nine, I think. So it actually said like failed across it. So I wasn't <laughs> sure. Seems like maybe he didn't get it done, but yeah. uh, it's a great. That Ice Puzzle Nine is a great one. Probably one of my favorite Uesakas. Yeah. But yeah, go check out Optimal Review uh, and all the other people we've talked about here on Online Buzz. And uh, you guys can find us on, do you remember it now? This week, what do you got? <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And then you can go on to our website, puzzlemaster.ca and subscribe to our newsletter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we have lots of different stuff on our newsletter, different new puzzles that are coming out, different brain teasers that you can solve on there. Um, lots of just good information about what's going on here at Puzzle Master. Yeah, and you'll see more more videos Linnea shot on her own on our TikTok and also on Facebook. And chances are, if you're commenting on any of our videos on YouTube, you're interacting with Linnea. So she does a whole bunch of her social media and is new to the Puzzle Time episodes. This is episode number two for her. And uh, yeah, yeah, so good job today. That's the end of our episode. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go to puzzlemaster.ca, check us out and uh, see more of our uh, Pelican collection.